Yes, my people. And now I'm not in nature. But I got a little message. I hope it resonates later, yeah? All right, this one, I'm going to keep it 100 in this video. So this one's about semen retention, you know? Um, obviously, I kind of just started my semen retention journey this year. I've done it, I done it previously before, but I wasn't paying attention to it. You know what I mean? But I remember how I, I remember how I felt. And I also knew where I went wrong and what I was doing wrong, yeah? And that's why it didn't go the way it's supposed to go. But yeah, this year I started semen retention again. It was like two months ago. And I, I held my semen for about two months, two to three months. But then I relapsed. I relapsed somewhere in the middle. And then I, carried, I went on again. And then I relapsed yesterday. I can't remember the, the other previous time when I relapsed recently, but I relapsed yesterday. So, um, yeah, this video is just for anyone who was kind of like, um, you know, who fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to update, you know, certain people, you know, you, you could be going through the same thing as me. But yeah, basically I relapsed yesterday, man. And I'm not going to lie, that semen retention thing is real. It's real, man. Because now that I'm actually paying attention to it and I know what's really going on, it does take your energy, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday I was, I was just a bit like, you know what I mean? Obviously I'm not here to bait out my business, but I just like to be real and share my experience, you know what I mean? But yeah, like the person who I exchanged my energy with, they even said to me yesterday, they felt good. You know, they felt, they said they felt happy, like after, after we, we had sex here, yeah, after we done what we done. You know, she was like, I feel happy. And I was just like, in my head, I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, this ex this sexual exchange, the energy exchange thing is real. You know what I'm saying? Because this happened to me like previous years before when I was really in the matrix and I was just doing whatever, yeah? I remember one time I was happy. I was bubbly. I was, I was just happy. I'm always happy. You know, I always try to keep my, my energy up. You know what I mean? I think that's just naturally me. I just like to just be whatever, do whatever. I like to be free, yeah? And this person that came around me, they were moody. They were so angry. Obviously, it's a female, it's a woman. She, yeah, a girl, whatever. She came around me and she was moody, she was moody. And after we had sex, I witnessed it. I actually witnessed it with my eyes. After we had sex, yeah, this girl was happy. She was like, whoo, like bubbly. And I was just there like, like just a bit moody, like just not in the mood for anything. You know what I mean? I just wanted to just... And at the time, yeah, I was like, yo, why the fuck, why do I feel like this? And she feel, and I'm watching her, you know, I'm watching her, and I'm like, why is she so happy now? But I didn't know, I, I wasn't really too into the spiritual thing a lot at the time, you know what I mean? I was still in the Matrix, but I realised, yeah, when I, when I was in the Matrix, I still, I was still aware of certain things that was happening that was weird, innit? And I used to pick up on it, like, yo, but I just wasn't, you know, really in tune with what's going on, so I didn't really, you know, took it further, I didn't pay no mind to it after. But yo, that, that energy thing's real. You give the person your energy, they give you back your energy. You know what I'm saying? And the person that you have sex with, yeah, they might not always be a low vibrational person. They could be a high vibrational person as well. So you might gain certain energy from certain people that you have sex with. You know what I mean? That's why you've got to really be careful. And, um, yeah, just choose wisely. But the ultimate goal for me was just to keep going. You know what I'm saying? And that is, that is still the goal. Obviously, I'm back on day one now. Today's day one again, officially. So... The goal is just to keep going. If I could go between now, between now and the end of the year, December, that would be, like, I would be proud of that, you know what I mean? Hold my semen between now and the end of the year, December. But I don't know, man. The semen retention thing, I've also watched certain videos on it. And this guy was saying, if you've got a girlfriend, yeah, you can, you can still be on semen retention, but you just, just don't bust. You just have to always hold your seed. And I understand that. It's, it's, it is important. And I want to I get to that stage. Because obviously we all need orgasm now and then, innit? You know what I mean? We all might need a, a partner or someone just to kind of, you know, share our sexual energy with. But it has to be the right person. And, you know what I'm saying? They have to be making, they, they have to be vibrating. Both of you have to make sure that you're vibrating on the same frequency. That's how I see it, man. You know what I mean? So I'm very aware now. And also the reason why I jumped on semen retention as well, because I went for a stage where the spirit of loss was really dominating me. And that was kind of my fault because I wasn't looking after myself. You know what I mean? I was still in the matrix just doing stupidness. I was still smoking. 
I was still eating junk food a lot. I wasn't paying attention to what was really going on. I wasn't paying attention to my aura. You know, I wasn't fasting enough. So when you're on semen retention, yeah, and I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, one of my last semen retention videos, you've got to make sure that you're eating properly, you're not smoking as much, you know what I mean, or just no smoking at all, and um, making sure that you're fasting, you know what I mean, and you're praying, you know what I'm saying, because semen retention is, is a spiritual, it's a spiritual practice, you know, you can manifest a lot of things, you know, your, your thoughts, whatever you think of, while you're on semen retention, you can use all that energy to actually like manifest them thoughts man and then put into action because you got all that energy from holding on to your semen yeah you can actually just get things done naturally without even thinking and without forcing yourself so yeah there's a lot of benefits to semen retention but this video is just to update people that yeah i relapsed yesterday obviously i'm not i'm not too proud but at the same time i know i'm a human being and i know there will be times where i might relapse even with the weed you know what i'm saying you gotta understand we're human beings we still live in this matrix that's full of traps so if you, if you fuck up now and then, not even now and then, it's not like this is not no excuse, is it? The the, the 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 plan is to keep pushing. But for me, yeah, I'm proud because I got willpower, like to to, the, to say to the fact that I can um I can actually say, yo, I went this amount of time without that. I went this amount of time without that. You know, what I mean, a couple of months ago, I didn't really feel like that. I felt like I couldn't go without certain stuff. You know what I mean? So as long as yeah, you can go without certain things, yeah, and you can really test yourself, that's good. You know what I mean? But it's not an excuse to just, oh yeah, let me fuck up today because I can do it again. Nah, that's not the plan. That's not the plan. The plan is to actually just keep going. But don't beat yourself up too much if you do fuck up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's just a video, man. That's a quick little, um, it's nothing long. Just a quick update about me relapsing. And yeah, it does fuck with your energy a little bit. You know, today I feel very, I just feel a bit tired. I'll be honest, I feel a bit drained. I don't feel like I've got any negative energy in me but i just feel tired man you know what i mean because obviously the other person could have you know like i said they could have bad entities in them you know what i'm saying and then when you exchange that energy with them you can now be carrying certain energy and yeah i had to learn that man i had to learn that Do you know what i mean that that was important to me that's that's one of the biggest reasons why i went on semen retention because like i said the, the spirit of loss dominated me one at one period in my life and it was it was it basically took my body for a joyride, I swear, honestly. It took my body for a joyride. And I was just like, yo, what the fuck? You know, what I mean that spirit of loss really had a mission. He really wanted to fuck me up. He wanted to take me off course. And it nearly did. But the most high and the angels they were there for me, man. Although I've made a lot of mistakes, they were there for me. Do you know what I mean? Because the most high know. The most high know, man, that certain things that we go through or certain things that we can't control, he understands. But if you if you call on him, and you, you call on him and you let him know the most I don't know what's going on in my life but I can't do this alone he will come to you man you know what I'm saying so yeah man but you just got to show him that yo you're trying and I did but I kind of messed up yesterday like I said so I kind of feel disappointed you know what I mean because I feel like I was on a mission to advance like that's how you advance you know when you pass certain desires that used to dominate you before do you know what I mean so like I said I'm not that down on myself but it could have went on, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm back, I'm back. I'm going to keep going, man, keep pushing. But yeah, this, that's just to let anyone know if they're on the same thing as me. Like, yo, just keep going, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep pushing. And if you, if you, if you do want to take part in sex, like I said, I've done some research and it said you can have sex, but just try not to relapse, you know, try not to, 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 to boss, basically, which I find a bit difficult as well. But if that's, you got to do what you got to do, like, to, if you want to um, become a better person spiritually and whatever not, you know what I'm saying? So... Just try. You just have to try, man. You have to put things into practice, you know what I mean? No one's better than no one. You know what I'm saying? We're all here to try to help each other and try to like, support each other in any, in any way we can because we're all going to make mistakes along on, on our journey. Anyone that come across like they're so perfect and they ain't done this, and I don't really trust them people, I'll be honest, because you're, you're just like, wait, are you not a human being as well? How come, you know, it's not that I'm hating or anything, but I notice there's a lot of people that will just come, like, they won't admit certain things, you know, on their journey or whatever. Because they want to come across like they were so... I don't know. Let's not talk about too much people anyways. But yeah, that, um, that's just a video, my people. Honestly, just wanted to update you lot about the semen retention and how that shit's real. And yeah, I'm back on day one, man. But yeah, my people, look after yourself. Peace.